when did things change for you? Because they left you alone for a good long time, or mostly alone anyway, and then things kind of changed. Well, actually, right after I got to the zoo, okay. not too long, because let's see, shut down in August, I got there about three weeks, two weeks given to Hawaii in a week, three weeks, so it's uh, mid-September, thereabouts. And they came in and started going to these irrigations. My knee has gotten progressively worse. Um, I don't know when, but in the next couple of months, they actually gave me a crutch to use to walk with. But they started the interrogation, wanted you to do this, you know, write this, admit the war crimes. And I said no, and I said no. And uh, how that ended up um, was really the worst experience I ever had over there, probably caused the most of my nightmares and PTSD and everything else. But yelling and screaming at the interrogation room and had to go out standing up against the wall and basically said, you're going to stand there until you do what you're told to do. Well, then that went on for half an hour, an hour, whatever. But then they hauled me back to my room and told me to get up against the wall with my hands over my head. And so there I was, up faced against the wall, you know, far side from the door. And um, that went on for the next three months. That basically, at the gong would go off about six o'clock in the morning, and a guard would be at the door banging, yelling at me to get up, and um, they would bring you a little soup meal twice a day that I got five minutes to get that down, and then I stayed at the gong at night, which was like nine, nine thirty. And um, if they caught you, I mean, they're always trying to catch you any time that you might have had your arm. I mean, they come in and club the hell out of you, so you're caught between a rock and a hard place, which is easy to put up with the slow, agonizing water to get the hell beat out of you. Um, and like I said, that went um, that was September, October to November to Christmas. Uh, and during that time frame, sometime in October, the knee got so bad they had a little corman come and periodically like try to you know, bat it or something. But all of a sudden, I mean, I tried to squeeze the infection out. And he was looking, I tried to stop him before he put it in, squeeze it, and then all of a sudden, big pieces of black tissue came out. Mm. And that scared him. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so then the uh, yeah, so called doctor came in and they hauled me off to the uh, hospital to operate it. And that's really what Manisa all scarred up from and stuff. They had to open up the whole knee area. To drain all the stuff, and, uh, and I can't saw anything up there to infect it, so they just packed it and it had to heal from the inside. So I actually got one day off the wall from that when I got back, but then I had to crutch and I was back on the wall. And the way I got off, all of a sudden they declared a Christmas moratorium on the 23rd, I think it was. So that afternoon or evening, they said I could get down in the next morning. They didn't make me get back up on the wall.